Yes, it's been a joint effort between Ground Game Texas and Mono Amiga, and today they got to hand deliver the signatures right here to the city clerk. Well, today is truly a momentous occasion. So we're just over the moon. We're absolutely thrilled. We have some petitions to turn into y'all. Wednesday was delivery day, a special visit to the city clerk after a combined effort from the entire San Marcos community. We spent the last six months hitting the pavement every day to collect these signatures. It was very exhausting and it's paying off today. More than 11,000 signatures gathered, 4,300 plus independently verified. That number is more than the 4,100 or so needed to get an initiative on the November ballot. The prohibition against city police using the odor of marijuana or hemp as probable cause for search and seizure. The language of the ordinance includes a few items, with the main goal being the end of citations and arrests for misdemeanor possession of marijuana. There really is disproportionate enforcement of marijuana uh, offenses in Texas, and it falls squarely on people of color, communities of color. So there is a criminal justice aspect to it, but it is also an issue that is incredibly popular, and it's, there's a huge disconnect between the elected leaders and what the laws are in our state. And I will tell you, this is an issue that will get people out to vote, just like they did in Austin. Austin's Prop A got on the ballot because of the efforts of Ground Game Texas. Passed by voters in May, it bans no-knock warrants and also decriminalizes low-level marijuana offenses. The organization is now working on multiple other ballot initiative campaigns in cities across the state. So if we can do two good things, bring criminal justice reform and get people to vote in this non-voting state, then we're doing the right thing. It's taken perseverance and boots on the ground. Now it's in the hands of the city before it's officially put in the hands of voters come November. So we're now looking to city council to ensure that voters are afforded the opportunity to vote on this at the ballot box and make their voices heard in a true democratic fashion because this is as democratic as it gets. And the city now has 45 days to verify all of those signatures. Reporting from San Marcos, Carissa Lemkel, Fox 7 Austin News.